Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you for coming out tonight to honor Dennis Lutz some more. He deserves it. Uh, I'm Greg Duggan. I'm the town manager. Um, several months ago, we knew that Dennis was going to be retiring pretty soon. And Aaron Martin approached me with an idea from the public work staff uh, with an idea to honor Dennis and memorialize his importance um, to the town of Essex and, and its history. Uh, the idea from, from Public Works was to suggest naming this facility after Dennis. Um, to me, it was a no-brainer. I brought it to, to my predecessor, uh, Evan Teach at the time, no-brainer to him too. Um, we approached the, pitched the idea to the select board and to a person, they said, absolutely. Uh, so, I'm happy to be here today. Dennis joined the turn of, uh, has served the town of Essex um, as the Public Works Director for 38 years. He retired on July 15th of this year. Um, even before he joined Essex, es or Essex, Dennis was designing the town's wastewater system when he was working for Donald Hamlin Consulting Engineers. At the time he was hired, Dennis uh, had six employees and five trucks. He has since doubled the department's resources, and that doesn't even begin to really capture the total impact that Dennis has had on the community. Um, in a little bit, uh, I'll share a resolution, read a long resolution that the select board adopted on Monday night. It details the many, many contributions that Dennis has made to the community. Um, so sit tight for that. In the meantime, thank you all for coming here today. Um, and after all Dennis has done for Essex, this seems just like the most fitting thing we can do and the least we can do to name this facility after him, the, the Public Works facility, and ensure that he and his legacy remain part of Essex forever. Working for Dennis was great. He's a great guy. He always treated everyone fairly and equally, and he will be missed by the town. Uh, Dennis has always treated me uh, both professionally and personally, just uh, you can always go to, to Dennis, talk to him about anything. He'll always great, give you his best opinion on the subject and matter, and he's just really good guy to talk with and sit down and figure out a problem. He's a wonderful man, very hard working man. He's taught me a lot. And you know, he brought me into the job, and he said, you know, when it's, you know, when it's time to, to leave, when you're not enjoying your job anymore, and oh, I've enjoyed it. It's just that I'm 66, so it's time for me to move on. Otherwise, I'd stay another 10 years. Like him, he's, he's stayed a really long time, and he's been a, he's been a mentor. He's been a friend. My husband died five years ago, and he was right there for me. The whole, my whole public works family was right there for me. So. I'll be quick so I don't melt up here. Uh, we'd like to thank everyone for coming out today to uh, celebrate with us uh, and Dennis uh, for the dedication of uh, the highway garage in his name. Uh, Dennis started his career here, as Greg said, uh, back in 1984 as the public works director. Um, he's been serving this community uh, for the 38 years and it has definitely left his mark on this community. Uh, during his time here in the town, uh, Dennis has played a key role in a lot of the major infrastructure projects that uh, we've seen in this community. Uh, 22 miles of paved road, Dennis, were installed under your watch. Uh, as Greg said, most of the infrastructure here for the sewer, sanitary sewer, was under construction uh, when you started. Um, we now maintain 42 miles of sewer lines within the town and 17 pump stations. Uh, stormwater back then consisted of putting a couple pipes underground across the road to get water from one side of the road to the other. Um, significant changes uh, have taken place since then and Dennis played a major role uh, at the local, state uh, and regional levels on uh, putting input on regarding uh, regulations and permitting of stormwater infrastructure in communities. Um, I could go on and on some more, um, but all these changes uh, Dennis has been part of over the many years here um, have helped make Essex the great community in which we all uh, work in or live in. Um, and I can't think of a more fitting way uh, than to, uh, to honor his accomplishments and dedication to the town of Essex than to name this facility after you. Thank you, Dennis. Years, Dennis. Dennis uh, has been a has been a great boss. He, he, he always always instilled this team spirit. You know, it was we were always part of the same team. And so it was.
was never like really working for a boss. You were working with your teammate, um, and uh, that's something that uh, um, I hold dearly, and it's something that I try to emulate. And will hopefully the people that work with me now um, will wear off on them, and we can continue forward. But Dennis has been a great mentor, um, and he's prepared our whole team uh, to carry on. And, uh, we look forward to the challenges, and we look forward to seeing him again off and on to help us out here. But, uh, I think we got it, and I think the town of Essex is uh, going to be well taken care of moving forward. Dennis, we're going to have to get the sign still by the select board, so you can't take it home today, but um, I'll share it right now. Resolution in appreciation of Dennis E. Lutz. Whereas, Dennis Lutz, PE, was hired as Public Works Director for the Town of Essex in September 1984. And whereas, Dennis retired on July 15, 2022, concluding 38 years of dedicated service and leadership to the entire Essex community. And whereas, prior to joining Essex, Dennis worked for the State of Vermont as an Environmental Engineering Supervisor and for Donald L. Hamlin Consulting Engineers as a Project Manager. And whereas, Dennis also served in the military for 37 years, beginning on active duty as an engineer company commander in Vietnam and later as a construction site engineer in Oregon for the Corps of Engineer. And following active duty, became a member of the Vermont National Guard, ultimately spending the last five years of his military career as the assistant adjutant general for the Vermont National Guard. And whereas Dennis's major military awards include the Legion of Merit, three Army Meritorious Service Medals, the Army, Army Commendation Medal, the Vietnam Service Campaign Medals, and the Silver Order of the De Fleury Medal by the Army Engineer Association. And whereas, Dennis began work as the Town of Essex Public Works Director. He had six employees, five trucks, and has since doubled the department's resources and expanded the services that the department provides to make the Town of Essex a sustainable and desirable place to live, work, and visit. And whereas, Dennis created and updated the town's public works specifications, comprehensive road management plan, a winter operations plan, and whereas, Dennis took great steps to improve water quality in Essex and the surrounding area by adhering to the town's national pollutant discharge elimination system, phase two small municipal separate storm sewer system general permit, creating a chloride monitoring program, reducing salt application, recommending the creation of and then serving on the Joint Stormwater Coordinating Committee between the Town of Essex and the Village of Essex Junction, and hiring the Town's Stormwater Coordinators, and whereas, when working at Donald L. Ham L. Hamlin Consulting Engineers, Dennis designed and constructed the Town of Essex's wastewater system, then as Public Works Director managed the system and served on the Tri-Town Sewer Committee, thereby reducing sprawl and ensuring safe treatment of waste and whereas Dennis developed the current capital planning and budgeting process for the town and has been the key individual co coordinating large projects from all town departments, the select board and the community, identifying needs and developing projects based on cost estimates and priorities. And whereas Dennis hot, sought and obtained numerous grants to minimize the cost to the town to pave streets, upgrade water sewer lines, make improvements to stormwater systems, expand the sidewalk network and more, and whereas Dennis has always treated residents, business owners, customers, and co-workers with respect and honesty. And whereas Dennis has supported community events such as Greet Up Day and Touch a Truck. And whereas Dennis has mentored many employees, interns, and students. And whereas Dennis is a lifetime member of the American Society of Civil Engineers and has remained active in numerous professional associations, including the American Public Works Association, American Water Works Association, and New England Water Works Association, and whereas, Dennis is an elected Champlain Water District Commissioner from the City of South Burlington. And whereas, Dennis was appointed by the Governor as Commissioner on the New England Interstate Water Pollution Control Commission. And whereas, Dennis has been named the Public Works Director of the Year by the Vermont Highway Association. And whereas, Dennis has received the American Public Works Association Distinguished Service Award. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Select Board, on behalf of the staff and citizens of the Town of Essex, Hereby extend our most sincere appreciation to Dennis for his 38 years of dedicated service to Essex, the state of Vermont, and the United States. This was adopted this first day of August 2022 by the Essex Select Board.
And now the important moment. Dennis, Carol, if you can come up and unveil the new sign. I had my instructions, so I hope this goes right. <laughs> Oh, where to begin? Um, uh, starting underground, I guess. He, I mean, even before he worked for the town of Essex, Dennis designed the wastewater system. Um, since he's been here, you heard me speak a little bit. He's, he's doubled the resources for the town. He's brought in hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of grants for water systems, sewer systems, stormwater systems. Um, he's just been instrumental to the growth. He's been professional. He's been a mentor. Uh, He's taught me a lot um, back when I was a planner as the manager now, and he's been a mentor to me, mentor to many others, um, and just utmost professional and dedicated, smart man who has done so much for the community. It, it, you can't even really capture it all. I uh, can say some words, but just numerous awards uh, for the country, for the, for the community. Um, Road standards, public work standards, infrastructure standards, uh, just so many guidelines that are going to stick with us going forward and um, keep us keep us on point and going in the right direction for many years to come. And the least we can do is, is name the facility after him and select board took that, uh, ran with it and, and yeah, Dennis is going to have a lasting legacy well beyond just what you see, but uh, he'll be here for a long, long time. I'm very humbled. I don't really think I know this guy that Greg was talking about, <laughs> but um, I've had a long career and a, and a very successful career. Um, when you do work you love, it's not really work, uh, and that's how I've felt about this job for my whole career, um, and I felt the same when I was in the military, um, and I think that's an important part of finding success in life is to just do what you love and, and continue to do that. Uh, I'm gonna do the same when I'm retired. Um, I do have something in common with the building. Um, we're both well-aged. I won't say old, well-aged, but we still have life in us. And so uh, our plan is to do some traveling, do uh, other fun stuff that uh, we wanna do. Um, I'll probably come back and do some part-time work for the town in the future just because my heart's in it and. Um, it's a part of me, the town is a part of me, it will always be a part of me. It's a great place to work, it's a great place to live. Um, I think that Essex has a lot of great opportunities going forward. Um, situations change from looking at a merger to now being separate communities, and in my view that's unfortunate, but it may also provide an opportunity for Essex to grow and to make progress. And I'm totally confident in the people who still are working for the town. We've, we've always worked as a team, um, Aaron and Annie and uh, Carl and Dan and you name it. Um, and and I, I could go through all the names, the, the people on the town staff, they've, they're really professional. And that's the one thing that I think really characterizes Essex is a professional staff that really means well and tries to do right by the community. Um, I have a lot of confidence that's gonna continue into the future. Names will change, but if we kind of follow the same pattern that we've had in the past in terms of doing our best, working at a job you love, I think there's a lot in store that's really positive for Essex. Um, and I'll be a part of it as long as I can. And when I can't, I'll read about it. And I'll read about the success of other people um, who are here doing their work to keep this a great place to live. Um, Vermont's a great place. We're not going anywhere. I wouldn't go anywhere. Family's here. Um, I will get out in March. March is a bear. Uh, I, we're going to go someplace warm in March for a couple of weeks uh, so we can recuperate and get ready <clears throat> back for the summer so we can go camping again. But. Uh, other than that, um, we're going to be around, and uh, anybody needs to call. Um, I actually had discarded all the stuff on my, my cell phone. I still have the town cell phone, 
and I got a complaint the other day, so I, I passed it on. So I anticipate I'll probably still get some of those going down the road. If they don't know who else to call, they'll call me, and I don't have a problem with that. But if anybody has anything that they really want or need to reach me, um, we're still at our same address. We'll be there uh, for as long as we can, um, and we're going to enjoy life. And thank you so much for doing this today. I really, really appreciate it.